Hello everyone, welcome to HBN Infotech Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to construct triangle in Microsoft Word with exact size and angles. I am going to show you three examples. First example, how to construct a triangle when length of three sides are given. Second example, how to construct a triangle when length of one side and two angles are given. Third example, how to construct a triangle when length of two sides and one angle is given. In this tutorial, I am going to use a protractor and a ruler which is created in Microsoft Word itself. You can learn how to draw a protractor and a ruler yourself by watching these tutorials. Ok, now let us make some settings. First, set the units of measure to centimeter. Then change the paper size to A3 so that you get a wider space to work. Once after constructing the triangles, you may paste it into any paper size and layout. Ok, now let us have a look at the first example. Let us see how to draw this triangle where all the three sides are given that is 10 cm, 6 cm and 8 cm. So let me move this a little bit down. Ok, first draw a line for 10 cm, hold down your shift key on your keyboard to draw straight lines. So once after drawing it, keep the line still selected and then go to the format tab and for the width type 10 and press the enter key. Now let us uh, construct this 6 cm line. So to do this, I'll be using the arc, this one, take this arc, so now here there is no compass but uh, that's not a thing to worry, we can use this arc and produce the same effect. So hold on your shift key and draw an arc. Now set the height and width for this as 6 centimeters. So type 6 and 6 here and then you can change the color of this by going to the shape outline now select this arc and the line both by holding shift and clicking on them and then go to the align and click on align left and align align bottom now you can group them together now create one more arc for 8 cm. So go to the insert again, take the arc, draw an arc, type 8 cm for the height and width, change the outline color. Now you will need to flip this horizontally and then select this arc and this shape, shape group together and then align right and align bottom. Now we got this intersection intersected point. So now you can easily construct a line that is draw a line from this point to this point. And then again draw one more line from this point to this point. Now you may ungroup all this and delete the arcs now you can cross verify the drawing so you can take the ruler and cross verify it so this side it needs to be 6 cm so you can just rotate this see this ruler is created in Microsoft Word itself I have given the uh, tutorial link in the description see now this is 6 cm see this ruler is transparent so you can download the PNG images from my website and even that works better now this is
8 cm so we we have done drawing the first triangle now now to write the measurements you will need to use the word art tool but before using the word art if you are using word 2010 or later versions you will need to save the word file in a compatibility mode you can do that by going to the file save as choose the location and then for the save as type select word 97 2003 document and click on the save this would bring you the classic word art so now we will use this word art to annotate this triangle so i'll choose the first default style and then write down the measurement that is 10 centimeter click on the ok now keeping the word art still selected go to the format click on wrap text and click on in front of text this will make the word art really movable now you can fill the color and then remove the outline color if you prefer a thin text you can just click on the edit text and then select a different font style suppose in case if you want to edit the text you will need to use the edit text option now you can resize this measurement and then place it as required now you can simply duplicate this by holding control and clicking and dragging and then you can rotate it as required and then you can click on the edit text and change the text as required So you can also press the Ctrl D keys on your keyboard to duplicate the shapes and word art. Now to create arcs like this, you can use the arc tool. Now create an arc by holding your shift key and dragging and then drag the arc to the desired location rotate the arc as required so you will need to create an arc bigger just like this and then later you can use the handles to adjust the measure uh, length of the arc like this So while creating the arc, you will need to hold down the shift key. Now let us have a look at the second example that is uh, length of one side is given and two angles are given. So now let me move this a little bit down. First let us draw the 8 cm line. Draw a line for 8 cm. And then you will need to use this protractor so you can either use this protractor or you can also use the png image that you can download on my website so it's a transparent png so now you can move this this side or that side so it's not particularly mentioned which side so we can 
take any of these sides I place the protractor like this and then uh, for the 70 degree so I'll, I'll you will need to draw a line so take the line tool and draw the line from this center point and draw it over the protractor so draw a lengthier line like this now place the protractor on the other side you can use the arrow keys to fine tune the placement of the protractor now draw a lengthier line over the protractor from this point for 40 degrees so you should make sure that it intersects the first line I mean previously created line now move the protractor away and then you will need to retrace this drawing using the freeform tool take the freeform tool and carefully trace the triangle now you can remove the fill color and change a different color I mean set a different color and then you can zoom a little and then go to the edit points and fine-tune the triangle you can move the handles and fine-tune the triangle once the fine-tuning is done click outside and deselect the shape and then move the shape away now delete the lines that were below the triangle I mean delete the reference lines so now you can color this triangle I mean uh, set the outline color as per the requirement and then you can annotate the triangle just like this using the previously explained method and that is using the uh, word art and the arc okay now let us have a look at the third example where uh, the length of two sides are given and one angle is given so now first let us create a line for 10 centimeter then using the protractor mark 55 degrees so using this protractor now you can draw a line over this protractor for 55 degree draw a lengthier line lengthier as far as possible so it should cross it should uh, just go over this 55 degree and then move this away now take the ruler and then mark 9 centimeter so now take the ruler you can use the arrow key for the fine tuning of the placement now draw a line from this point and here now you will need to move the rectangle sorry move the ruler and then trace this triangle using the freeform tool set a different outline color 
and then zoom and fine tune so i think i created it uh see you, you will need to remove the sh shape fill i think i have created it perfectly i will zoom back now i'll move this triangle away and delete the lines reference lines below and set a different color for the triangle i mean set the color that i want and then later you can create the annotation like this using the text uh, word art and the curves okay now let me show you how to use the png images of the protractor and the ruler that you download from my website so you can click on the insert click on pictures and then navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the protractor and ruler and then select the image and click on the insert now you can go to the format click on wrap text and click on in front of text to move the image freely so this is a transparent png image you can also resize according to your necessity and then use it now let me show you how to use the ruler first insert the ruler then bring it in front of text now set the width of the ruler as 19 cm so this would get you the exact measurement scale measurement uh, i recommend that you create this ruler yourself by watching my tutorial the link is in the description i have also given the link for this 360 degree png image even you can use this download and use this dear viewers i hope that the tutorial is useful i'll see you all in my next video until then it's bye from hbninfotech.com